Hi, I'm Christina Bellantoni with Talking Points Memo, and I'm here with John Vogel of the DCCC, who uh, is in charge of very important House races this year. 2010, the entire House is up for re-election, and Republicans think they have a chance of winning back in the fall. We're at NetRoots Nation, where there are a bevy of progressives who are some frustrated, some excited for the elections. Um, what have you seen from the progressive movement, and do you think they're going to come out this fall for your House candidates? I think uh, one is, you know, progressive movement uh, in everything we've done over the past two cycles has been a critical element to our, to our ability to win. From taking back the House in 2006, to electing Barack Obama president, and expanding our majority in 2008, and the stakes couldn't be higher in this election. You have, uh, you have two you have, you have stark differences in the ballot. You have the Democrats who want to continue trying to make progress for the middle class. You have Republicans who are looking to abolish. Medicare, we want to privatize Social Security, we want to push through the push tax cuts for the wealthy, and uh, there, there couldn't be more at stake here, and we cannot do this, but we need to do without the progressives uh, being fully engaged in this election, and uh, I am confident that all of our allies will be on the playing field come the fall. And even in districts where maybe it's a more conservative Democrat, mm -hmm. um, you think progressives will still come out and vote for that Democrat, even if it's not sort of the agenda that they want to push, like candidates that are running against health care? I think each one of our members votes the needs of their district. And, you know, the members who voted against health care are in much more conservative districts than those who, who did not. And, you know, and, or they have individual reasons of why they felt like they needed to take that vote. Uh, and the other thing is, I think when you look at the choice between what the Democrat stands for versus what the Republican stands for, and, and most times they really do folks, I mean, the choice is, is it a pro-life Republican who wants to, like, again, privatize Social Security, who wants to abolish Medicare, turn it into a voucher system, you know, and all kinds of things. This is, um, this is a pretty scary agenda for a lot of stuff. So, predictions. Uh, Republicans think that they're going to have Speaker Boehner come January. What's your prediction? There's been a lot of tough talk from the Republicans. And, you know, John Boehner uh, was, was guaranteeing victory the night of the special election in Pennsylvania 12 for Jack Murphy's open seat. And we took that election by eight points. You know, I, I think they have a flawed outlook on this cycle. I'm confident that we're going to strong that majority. Time will tell. Thanks for your time.